All right, what's going on Android lovers? More specifically those of you who own an HTC Thunderbolt. Today I've got a ROM review. This is the Infected ROM Eternity Edition. Now before we get into it, uh, this is a nightly ROM, so the developer has more builds every single day, more improvements, more tweaks, and uh, you can check them out. I'll provide the link in the description of the YouTube video. But let's just get into some of the features that this ROM has to offer. We've got a uh, Ziggy's kernel, which is really fast. I'll show you some overclocking capabilities. We've got the newest version of Super User. This comes with Titanium Backup, the latest version, of course. Wireless Tether uh, version 3, and the Android Market version 3.13, which is the Play Store. Anyways, this also comes with Full Beats Audio Suite. Uh, mind you, there's no hardware in this phone that uh, actually came with Beats Audio, but it has the full Beats Audio software, so there's some uh, equalization improvement and some sound improvement. Of course, it's rooted, and it comes with Super User. Um, we have full HTC Sense 3.5 interface, which is really nice, and it's awesome. We've got uh, SD card speed tweak. We've got battery auto calibration, so we don't have any uh, discrepancies in our battery calibration. We've got some transparent notification pull-downs. Just a bunch of tweaks. Got 5x5 app drawer, just a, a whole bunch of stuff that we'll get into right now. So let's check out this lock screen. As you can see right here, we've got a little ring that we can bring up. Now we can also bring these icons down to the rings, such as phone, if we want to use the phone right off the bat, or mail, camera messages. We can also change what um, items are actually displayed here. I'll show you how to do that. But anyways, to unlock the phone, we just grab the ring, bring her up, and there we have it. Now uh, we have our phone right here. We've got, uh, you can see, a new little widget here. We just got a smaller of the smaller version of the HTC uh, flip clock there. I've put some uh, power widgets here and whatnot. But we are going to go ahead and check out some of the apps that come on this ROM that make it a little different. At first you can see that there's no bloatware on this. It removed all of the crappy bloatware that came on this phone and you know just a lot of the Verizon apps and just the unneeded crap. Anyways, we've got backup assistance still. We've got our DSP manager, which is a CyanogenMon source. We've got our infected talk, which is a direct link to the infected ROM forums in case you need help or anything. We've got our logging test app. It comes with Mirror. And we've got, of course, our super user right there. We've got some task manager. And uh, then we have our Wi-Fi hotspot. Anyways, we can go and our frequent apps really haven't changed. It's basically what we uh, use. And then our downloaded comes with titanium backup, of course, as I earlier said. But uh, anyways, we'll just go back here. Let's see, we just got our uh, regular screen transitions. Of course, we can change the uh, personalization. You can see that we have our uh, 3D effect like this. We can just scroll it all the way around if we start scrolling fast enough. And it gets going in that fashion. When we personalize, we have the uh, personalization menu here. We can add widgets, app shortcuts, whatnot. Change our display, like the scene. Comes with some cool wallpapers in this. And then the sound, of course. And if you notice, the wallpaper is that of like the Galaxy Nexus or the AOSP uh, ice cream sandwich. Anyways, we'll go into some of the settings. You can see here there's a bit of uh, icon change here, but different theming going on. And we can go to the infected tweaks, which is basically the uh, start of anything that you want to do to tweak this phone. We have our clock options. We can go to our clock options. We have a clock style. You can either show or hide the clock, or we can center clock. I'll go ahead and do that. So now our clock's in the center. I like that. We have our AM and PM style, where we can either show a small AM or uh, you know show AM, PM large. And I do like it in the small. We can choose a different clock color, which I like to do. As you can see, it's kind of just going through the different hues there. I kind of like that one. So we'll just leave it there. As we can do the same with our battery options, and we can choose to display a percentage in there, and we just have a bunch of tweaks for that. And the same with our signal options. Now, the Sense UI tweaks, we have our rosy options, where we can enable a custom button. We can custom personalize the button. And it says the list is loading. Please be patient. And so we might not wait for that. But, okay, we, we can wait for that. I will just add the uh, Gmail. Anyways, we can hide the navbar label, uh, enable quick scroll, go back here, got our notification menu options, we can show our recent apps, show the date, we can uh, enable the transparent background, a lot of these require reboot you guys, so you might not see them right away. Um, we can choose our quick settings and we can customize our quick settings. Anyways, we have miscellaneous tweaks such as display options, miscellaneous options and phone information, we can go to the display and backlight. Uh, we can enable the 3D home, gravity like widgets behavior. We'll go ahead and enable that. Over scroll settings, we can, um, if we want the infinite scrolling throughout our entire home screens, where it just, if we go all the way to the left, returns us to the right. And we got button backlight settings and auto brightness settings. So I'll go back. And of course, our phone information with all of our statistics there and whatnot. And we have our lock screen settings here where we can choose 
of the Honeycomb style, the Android, or the HTC Send. So uh, let's test out some of those Beats Audio uh, modifications that are on this phone. Of course, we can go to our DSP manager where we can uh, tweak the settings of the phone speaker. We have Bass Boost disabled. Um, I'll go ahead and enable it. Signal effect strength slight equalizer is disabled. Equalizer is enabled now. Go back and we'll just play a song. Flip open our little kickstand so we get better uh, speaker quality. And we'll just bump something. Set it up. Actually. Sounded pretty nice. The Beats Audio don't make a whole lot of difference um, if you're not using the speaker jack, but it still sounds nice. As you can see here, we have our little Beats icon there as well. And Beats Audio is enabled. We can disable it easily from right here. Okay, so now we'll get into some of the overclocking on this bad boy. We've got the uh, Ziggy's kernel, which provides insane speeds. So we'll use a utility like set CPU. You can use N22 or the no frills CPU control, but there's no in settings uh, performance manager. So you're going to need an app like this. Anyways, we've got a few uh, performance governors down here. And you can see that we have our slider to see how much we want to overclock. Now we can actually go all the way up to uh, 2,000 2, megahertz, which is, uh, you know, 2 gigahertz. But that is not too stable. I would not suggest that. We can kind of just slide and see how it goes. Like, if it starts getting hard to slide and it starts freezing a little, I'd refrain from overclocking that high. But 1500 is not bad. We will go to one of our performance governors. We have the SmartAss version 2 on demand, power save, lag free, and performance. And uh, I'll do the performance. Okay, so I did do a quadrant test with the overclocked kernel, and we got uh, 2244, which is not terrible. This is a pretty good uh, speed for the HTC Thunderbolt, and you can actually push the overclocking a little farther if you want to get uh, better scores, but you see here we got um, about 2982 on the CPU, which isn't terrible. Anyways, this provides a nice uh, performance enhancement to your HTC Thunderbolt. Everything's really smooth, and it's nice. And we've got our gravity widgets, as you see here, when I tilt it, the widgets kind of tilt around like that. It creates this nice 3D crazy effect. But uh, yeah, you guys, if you've got an HTC Thunderbolt, I'd suggest checking out the Infected ROM Eternity Edition.